go. You're going. <laughs> You're going. <laughs> All right, uh, Cassville High School Art Education, um, and this is uh, Art Two D, and we're here today to uh, take a photograph that I had the students uh, go out and get uh, of a fall tree. Uh, that has uh, been changing colors um, and what we're going to work with is the uh, colors in the tree and we're going to use uh, colored pencils to make that happen on paper. Okay, so um, again at this point the kids have taken a picture of a fall tree somewhere um, outside and they uh, have practiced sketch it in with just pencil and paper. Okay, and now we're again going to use the colored pencils. So uh, the colored pencils we have a pack of 24 colored pencils. Uh, 20, so 24 different colors um, and we also have some some uh, other colors uh, in the classroom here where there's just 12 uh, different ones but the 24 gives us a variety okay so you use these uh, basically what we want to do is you just want to take these out of the pack okay and I've kind of already pre-drawn this so um, I won't go through a whole lot of the actual drawing of the uh, picture okay but uh, you'll get the idea of what we're after okay so I just take the colors and, and I found the best way is to take colors and set them out um, with them set out it's just easier to number one see them number two uh, grab a hold of them and use them okay um, if there is one that's uh, not sharpened you know it's a little dull you want them to be fairly sharp uh, makes the, the drawing more precise and a little bit easier to do uh, you can just take this over the pencil sharpener and sharpen it okay and I'll show you that here in just a minute also all right, so uh, basically what we want to do is we want to start off by looking at the subject and we want to pull some of the colors out of the subject uh, and we'll just pull our pencils to the side so that we have them here handy to use um, and ready to go. Now what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing a, a blue sky that is casting some blue light onto the colors of the tree. Okay, so we're going to use a couple of different blues so I'm going to pick a lighter blue and probably a darker blue. All right, and actually I'll pick three different blues here. So three shades of blue. And again, our blue subject is the sky, which is in the light casting on the tree. Okay, now I'm seeing also different colors in here. I'm seeing some browns and blacks in the trunk and probably a blue, which I already have picked. Okay, so I'm gonna pick the black and then probably a couple of different browns here. A lighter brown and a darker brown will do just fine. Okay, so, uh, Light casted the blues, the trunk, the black and browns. And then I'm gonna go on the leaves, I see some green and yellows. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a couple of different greens, a light green, a darker green, and a real dark green. And then I'm gonna pick two different yellows. <coughs> so a dark yellow and kind of a lighter yellow. Okay. Um, this is gonna again make up our greens that are here at the bottom of our tree, okay. And then I'm gonna do uh, reds, and I can see some pink obviously cast from the light, okay? Uh, red, a dark red, probably a lighter red, and we should be set there. All right, and then I'm gonna go into my oranges and yellows that I see on the other side. So I'm just gonna pick my one orange out. All right, and I'm gonna put that here with my yellows and greens. So again, some of these colors can be uh, obviously put together uh, to make up the leaves of the tree. And then the rest of my colors, I'm gonna kind of slide to the side. I will probably pick the white just so I can do some blending. All right, uh, so I'm gonna keep that also handy. I'm just gonna set these in groups so that I can grab these as I go and do the drawing. Okay, now what I did here was, is I took uh, my browns uh, and I took the lightest brown and I sketched in what I saw of the trunk, okay? And I kind of sketched in some of the branches and sticks and whatnot uh, that I can kind of see uh, through the leaves of the tree. Okay, so I just rough sketched that in. You can see the uh, sketching here, all right, compared to the subject. Okay, and then I went and I actually started with my uh, yellows and red leaves towards the top of the tree. Okay, and what I did was is I just took, uh, let's say for instance, I'll take a little bit darker color here my orange and I'm just going to kind of uh, sketch in the shape of a leaf. And the shape of a leaf, leaf is kind of triangular, okay, uh, you know it gets, it gets small and skinny at the uh, bottom where the stem's at so it can attach to the tree. 
and it's kind of broader and wider at the top. Okay, and most leaves will have like points, they come to a point, okay, and then they come down from there. All right, and I'm just kind of roughly doing that as I sketch this stuff in. All right, and I started with the yellow, and I got a bunch of the leaves down in yellow, and then I went to a orange, and I filled in with some orange, and I filled in on one side of the yellow, okay, because one side's going to have the light cast on it, the other side's going to then have the darker color um, as a shadow. All right, and then I came back in with a, a red, and I had red down towards the stem of the uh, leaves. All right. And I also worked towards the bottom with some uh, green, because there were some green leaves, so I worked down here. Okay, again, doing those same shapes, using light, working towards the darker greens for the shadows. Okay, and then what I did is I went in with the uh, three colors I have for the uh, sticks and branches and the trunk of the tree. And I came in here and I used different things like uh, pointillism, so just putting points in, okay, and hatch marking to create a texture to make it look like bark. All right, and I use these three different colors to kind of use a lighter color on the one side, darker towards the other side as shadows are there. All right, and I use blue in amongst some of this to help cast uh, that blue sky. So it was like the color of the blue sky, kind of the light that's casting towards the tree on one side. All right, so your light subject, uh, working from lights to dark for shadow. Okay, the uh, colored pencil location is here in this uh, uh, materials cabinet, and it's the one that says pencils, crayons, and markers. You open this up, and it's actually these uh, bottom two in the center, these bottom three actually, the two above it, uh, are the colored pencils. So you open one of these up, and they're actually wrapped in some rubber bands. And these are going to be just your standard colors, uh, so there's like 12 different colors here, all right? And you can see there's there is also labels in the front that tell you what colors are in which box. So uh, when you're done with these colors, make sure you wrap them back up in their uh, rightful bindings and then uh, put them back in these uh, containers. Now, for some odd reason, there isn't the color of the 12 that are in these two boxes. Uh, make sure you let me know I have another spot where I have extras and we can uh, add those to this. Okay. And then there's one more location we want to look at here. So if we have dull... Uh, colored pencils, we just come right over here, and we have a really nice uh, electric pencil sharpener, and this is LED driven with this little light here at the top, and you, when you put the pencil in here, that little light comes on when it's sharpened, okay, so a little light right up here at the top, it'll come on when the pencil's sharp, and tell you it's done, okay.